Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to the Red Haze Preview Build. Red Haze is an RPG maker horror game that follows a drug addict that starts to feel a creepy feeling is following her. This game is created by Aesthetic Gamer, aka Dust Golem, and is a considered a semi-sequel to Close Your Eyes. Once there was a girl. Oh, here's that narrator from that of uh, the previous game. She was a drug addict. Maybe we'll get some information about the previous storyline that was kind of vague. My name is Rockette. 23 years old. I was kicked out of bed in the home the moment I turned 18. I got by for a while clinging to overzealous boys with a deep pocket to fight off their own loneliness. But my need for rocks and apparent desperate demeanor had led to them throwing me out like trash. Moving on to supposed greener fields, pretending like they're not going to ogle and do the deed with girls other than the ones they're dating. And they call me trash. I've come to get by in the shitholes of society. The abandoned. The rotten. The decayed. And life's been good. I got hooked up with a clocker by the name of Ani G. She provided the rocks, and I... Well, I did what I had to do. Fuck. Motherfuck the spoon. Fuck it, Ryan, the Cthulhu is a pistol asshole. Ooh, boy, that's swearing. There. Easy now. Easy. Last boost. Oh, fuck of shit. I'm gonna have to see Honey G again, aren't I? Honey G's still pumping, right? I don't wanna see go see that gutter slut unless I really have to. But I really don't wanna have to go back to the crack in a box again. Not going back to being a buffer. Never again. Fine. I'm desperate. I'll go see Yami G. Huh. Look at me go. I'm such a chaser now. I don't have much to offer. But I'm desperate. I'll visit Ami G and see what I can do for some pebbles. I'll have to under G's apartment I go. So? There's a likely charm. So in the full version, there's supposed to be some gimmicks here. There's supposed to be one save file. You're supposed to replay the game multiple times, and it's advertised as being you only... I said you only get about 10% of the game in one run. So, previous runs, I mean, river, um, successive runs, will have, like, changes to the game. So, it's gonna kind of keep track of things. The most obvious example that people probably know of, at least nowadays, is probably Undertale. It's not the first game to do that, there's been others I've done that also. But that's like a obvious thing I can like call to. Pill popping can be fun, man. But man, it's just not the same. Door is locked. Wonder what's in here. We can save it a hobo barrels. Oh look, shadows. Wow. I don't think shadows quite work like that exactly, but you know, I'll take it. Anything in these bags? At least they put the trash in a bag. Huh, this leads to the stairway of this apartment complex. But it's locked currently. Fucking A, am I gonna have to look for a key or something? You know you got all those cliches. I'm about to switch every bag. It was a time I once lived in this apartment. 
I came to this room all these years later to see how much it had changed. Little did I expect it had been run out of business, and that now it's crawling with hopeless druggies and squatters. It's a shame to see it come to this. It almost feels like a part of me has been violated. I guess what they say is true. Ignorance is bliss. This is a weird room. A needle and spoon. Fuck no rocks here either. Only G was the best rock source. Fuck do I need to see that withering granny again. Oh, she's got the pebbles. God, the level some people stoop to. I find myself hesitant to even call them human. More like rats. Biting over scraps, making homes in dark, abandoned places of society. Ugly rabbit, full of diseases. And now they're burying homes into the goddamn walls. Wish we could call an exterminator for these types of rodents, too. Fuck him. Huh, there's a giant hole in the wall. Looks like an abandoned hobo hole. Maybe they might have been storing away some of the goods. Sure. This is... Empty. I don't see anything here. Don't know if these would mix well with the raw few rocks I took earlier. Hello, rocket. Hi. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Hey, there's a key here now. It's a key. It's not mine, but it is sitting here. I don't know who it belongs to. Hell yeah, we're taking the key. Wasn't there a door here? You took it. I've used the key to open up the door. Who are you, man? Let's just go into the death trap bathroom. Okay, it's locked. That's good. That's good. The stairs lead to the first floor. Hi. Hey, I'm only here for the construction of the alpha build, making the job of a test with the alphas a little easier. So what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's an NPC to give me a rundown of this build. So let's explore naturally, though. Door is locked. What do people ever recycle? Let's see what's in the basement. Rats. Meow, meow, meow. A well. That's random. A bucket. To fetch a pail of water. Why'd they build one here? There's a giant hole in the wall here. Some aluminum beams have been placed over it. I don't know what's hidden back there. That well is so random. Hey, isn't that a person up there? Reach out to her. Hi. Um, Starry? Oh, you look perfectly fine and normal. Oh, yes? Hey, shithead. If I told you to get the hell out of here. This place really isn't a place for someone like you to go home. Oh, Rocket, um, yes, you did tell me that, but, well... Well, well... Rocket! Hey, what are you deaf and dumb? I told you to leave. So why in here ain't no place for someone as fragile as you to be hanging around at. Anyway... But, I didn't want to leave you here alone. I think staying together would be maybe benefit both of us anyway. You're always being so stubborn and unwilling to accept help. And I admit I'm a bit naive and don't know the ropes of living homeless yet. Us runaways need to stick together. You look too handy to be homeless. Leave this place and come back and look like a gritty western game. No, we really fucking don't. Listen kid, I get it. You knew this whole hobo life thing. 
It's all new and exciting for you still. All glamorous or some shit. You think we can be friends? But I don't need any of that naivety. They don't need to sell in that shithole. Anyway, I told you to stay away from me. You give me the creeps. What? Don't say that. I just think we can get better if we stick together. Everyone needs a friend. We all need friends. We could watch out for each other in these hard times and help each other take on the challenges we face. Yeah, you're, you're too enemy for me. Get out of here. You mind if I tag along? You're probably a ghost. Well... Ooh, man, there's a lot of options here. I'm, I'm being overwhelmed right now. Ah, uh, fine. Sure, you can tag along. But I'm not your babysitter, okay? You scratch my back and I scratch yours. Got it. It got it. I'm forward to getting to know you. Don't eat me. We really don't need to get to know each other. Might be better if we don't. I'll be your partner. That doesn't mean we're friends. Huh? Oh, I don't mean to intrude. Just my help out. Like roommates, you know? <sighs> Implying we have a home. Come on, shithead. I love CLIG, and this don't change a thing. Please don't call me that. My name is Starry. Alright, Starry. Hey, wait for me. Starry. I'll wait for you, Starry. Let's go meet Ani G. This place looks like comparatively nicer. I need to write this even though my hands are still shaking. Everyone's dead. We just went and now they're all dead. I thought that Twisted Jenner was bad enough, but what the fuck even are those? If you read this, turn the fuck around right now. You don't want to go further, trust me. I don't know what's going on, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to lock myself in this room and I ain't ever coming out. There's a ship and a ball on the shelf. Kind of neat. Is this the place you don't want me to go, or, you, or is this the place you locked yourself in? Kind of like a fork in on it. That's the door you locked yourself in. We'll be perfectly fine. We have Starry with us. It's a mobile blue crescent moon. An ice room? Hmm. Hmm. The music changed very ominously. Old grandfather clock. Seems like a good one over time. We need a fork key. Gotta find the fork key. Uh oh. Starry, where'd you go? Huh? Starry? Where'd she go? Yeah. There was a door here. It's fucked off now. I see that reference. What's going on in this neighborhood? Good stuff, hopefully. Oh god, it's like a damn maze. I am feeling really overwhelmed right now. Where, where am I? That's a dead end. What's that? The room is just a giant abyss. A yellow terror to bows you hangs above the darkness. Door's locked on the other side. So we can't do anything more over here. It's not in the uh, game yet. Who is making that noise? Oh, 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 hi, hi. I have no idea what that thing was. Did you catch me? Yes, you did. Wait, no, I'm okay. I'm in the well. 
I'm fine, it's okay. Starry? Hello, anyone? Um, there's nothing to do down here, I'm stuck in a well. Um, there's, there's weird flying monster thing coming down the well. Hi. Is a game called Getting Out of This Well Alive? Okay. Oh, how delightful. This first game is simple. Find me. This is not going to be simple, is it? Oh, it's first person. I'm very confused right now. Perspective change. Too hard. I'm weirded out, man. It's freaking me out. Is this really RPG? Shit. Go, Sonic, go! Maybe she's- maybe it's down this long, ominous hallway. That's totally not a dead end. Why did I ever play to agree, agree to play a game with a giant haunted ghost spirit thing anyway? I don't make smart choices in my life all the time. Meow. Meow. Alright, this is gonna be it right here. We got you. We got you right here. Oh my god. Here, here, go right. Right makes right. Ten seconds in my butt. I got you, I got you. You're right around the corner, right? Over here. Oh god. You didn't find me. Let me find you. No. It's a question mark. That implies that you know, I have a choice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, God. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Oh, God, this is a dead end. Oh, my heart. No! Go, you cheap bastard! Okay, so that's actually not a game over. Thankfully. So that's all I'll show for right now of the preview build of Red Haze. I need some poking around and some like, some actually some puzzles in the game. One in particular requires keys and I, I'm going by the, the instructions saying you're actually only supposed to get like one of these keys per run and it has like little triggers and stuff based on like how much of the game you've been playing. So it's never one of those like endings that's locked away on multiple playthroughs. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I actually poked around in the Chivos, which you uh can only do if you have the preview build right now and um there's a lot of endings there i think there's like 27 endings it looks like and they're all very varied looking in their little portraits so um this could be quite a trip when it's released but yeah i'll come back to this when it's done until now it's i'm done with this game so thank you all for watching me play the red haze preview i'll see you guys later and take it easy <laughs>